Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So find the limit of this sequence as n tends to infinity, where where x has to be greater than than zero. So for example, uh, let's look at one particular case where x where x equals let's say three. So you would put this into your your sequence here. So that would then give you this. So when n equals one, you put it into here. So it'd be three to the power of one over one, which would be three, uh, and and so on. Well, 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 so so this is just an example of a case where where x equals three. Uh, so so you would put this into the x here. And if you think about it, in in this case here, x is a a constant. Once once a problem has been set, once you let x equals three, well, once you let x equals three, then the whole then then the x then the x here will be a constant. It is the n that's moving about. So bear that in mind, even though you've got two things that can change, once you've set the problem, once you've cemented that x equals 3, x then becomes a constant. Well, anyway, find the limit of this sequence as, um, as, as n tends to infinity. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, this is what we're trying to find out. Uh, let's just say this limit here is capital L, and, and it, it is capital L that we're seeking. So, uh, so let's just say the limit... Let's just say the limit is capital L, and is it is the L that that we're seeking. So from here, take the natural log of both sides. When you take the natural log of this, this can come down here. That will then give you this natural log, natural log of x of x, and then uh, and then and then from here, um, multiply this to the top. That will then give you this. Now, what is the limit as n tends to infinity? Remember, x is a constant. So once once you flat, once you flat um, x equals three, x now is a constant. So this thing here, this block here, is just a number, whatever that number may be. It's really that in our case here is natural log of three. Once once you set x to be a constant, this whole thing here will be constant. It, it is the n that's moving about. So here you've got a, a number that's fixed, and then n is always getting bigger and bigger and bigger, meaning meaning the whole thing here will, well the limit of this thing here will be zero because n is um because this thing here is fixed and then n is getting bigger and bigger and bigger so eventually this the whole limit as n tends to infinity will be zero so you've got your natural log of the the answer that you're trying to seek capital l equals zero so from here uh exponentiate both sides so that will then give you this and then in a way these two kill off each other Giving you so so the limit is really one. So the limit is one. So what is what what it's saying is that if you have um yeah if you have this sequence here as n goes on as as you head towards infinity as as n heads towards infinity, uh, it is heading towards the number one. Okay.